there it is sunday and i thought i would sit down and figure out how to show you guys some of the stuff that i have sold in the last mm, i don't know it's like seven days i think maybe a week uh i just did 50 items or around 50 items so we'll just get started right here i sold this diecast car it was 60 bucks uh, this color was really rare, and um, I couldn't find any other ones that were this color. So I upped the price a little bit, and somebody paid it. On to the next one. I got this London Fog pebbled leather handbag here. It was whoever originally shipped this. This was shipped somewhere. I found it. And whoever originally shipped it cut it when they opened the box. So there were two giant gashes that went all the way through the purse. And I stitched them up and fixed them on the outside and the inside. This was originally like a $170 handbag, but I sold it for 60 bucks after I fixed it. Next is this Mikowski bag. It is red, crocodile kind of looking, embossed. I think it's pleather. I don't know what it says here. No, it's leather. Uh, and I ended up selling that for $22.95 free ship. Next, we got this uh, zebra plush. I bought a whole bunch of stuffed animals, and some have value and some don't. This one is uh, on the cheaper side at $13.72. Next, we have some Atrex. I bought two large boxes of Atrex, and these were the ones that were sealed. And this person who originally owned these, I guess, was using whoever this guy is right here, Andy, to tape they were just using these as blank tapes basically but these are the sealed ones and somebody bought them for $19.99 free ship i bought a big lot in an auction of these chinese history books and chinese literature books and i really haven't sold very many of them at all all of them were basically new but uh, I've had a really hard time selling them. But this was a pretty good one. I accepted an offer. I had it listed for 100 bucks, and I accepted an offer of 73.79, I guess. Um, I bought a whole bunch of dolls the other day at the auction. Um, and dolls are hit and miss for me. Some I've had, I, I mean, I've sold dolls for like three, four hundred dollars, but I also have had dolls that I thought were going to sell for three or four hundred dollars and they just sit around forever. So I took a chance a couple weeks ago and I bought a bunch of these dolls right here. And I, I've done pretty well with them, really. I've sold probably 50% of them. This one being the first one that I sold. And it sold for $64.99. Plus 1846 shipping. I bought a woman's whole collection of these busts. Uh, I have like five of these. This specific Artemis one here. But um, these were the first two to sell. And they were the, actually the cheapest ones out of the lot that I bought. But $37.99. They're Andrea. Uh, same lot, came from the same lot. These are a little bit higher end. Um, they get three, but they're also much smaller than the other bus that sold. And I got $34.99 out of those. I bought this to get something else that was in a lot with it. And this ended up selling first and being worth more than the other item, but it sold for $29.99. It's a Goldinger silver plate velvet lined jewelry box. Uh, 
next these Laurel Street Laurel Street sign. I got two of the signs that were at this auction. This person had like ten of these signs, all different names, and I got two of them. The others just went for too much. I think I paid like fifteen bucks for these, and this one sold for fifty six ninety nine. And I have another one. I'm not for sure what it says, but it's longer. Uh, American Angel dark brown leather handbag. Just a normal cheap handbag. Uh, sold for twenty six ninety nine. Next is this Clairol foot fixer, foot bath massager. So I bid on this lot at the auction. It was an online auction and they said that this had a projector in this box. And so I get to the auction thinking that this is going to be a projector and it's this stupid foot bath, but it's old. So 29 dollars plus $16.69 shipping. Next, uh, this was in the same lot with the foot bath, actually. Um, it's uh, Keith's Beautiful Home magazine from 1928, and it sold for $21.84. Next, we've had, we have these Cervelle. These are beaded shoes. I'm pretty proud of this picture, um, but I've had these shoes forever, so. They sold for $37.99, free shipping. Next, I got this Coach uh, Canvas Leather Handbag. Oh, no, it's not a handbag. I'm sorry. It's a laptop briefcase bag, messenger. And it sold for $64.99, free shipping. I ended up having to ship it to like Oregon or something and it cost me like 25 bucks to ship, but you want some, you lose some. Um, next are these eight pairs of women's formal opera gloves. Some look better than others. I just thought I'd lot them all up. I've actually had them forever. And I was going to sell them individually and um, they weren't worth very much and so I just let them sit and then... I listed them and they sold in like six hours or something for $34.99. Okay, so I got this large Skyros pottery tray. I will never ever buy a ceramic, a large ceramic pottery tray like this one again. I don't think I have ever sold one where I didn't, it didn't break. And shipping somehow you can pack them up the the best way possible and they're still gonna break it doesn't matter so I shipped this to this customer and they ended up paying like I think they I gave them a deal I accepted an offer on this item um, for 35 bucks I think and I don't know why it doesn't show it there I don't know they ended up paying $95 altogether with shipping and uh, it was like they, ended, they had paid like $50 in shipping and they were complaining about it. And I said, that's just what it cost based on the size of the item. I don't get to determine that. It's just based on where you live and the size of the item. And so when I did go to mail it, it was a little bit cheaper. So I did the right thing and I gave this person a $25 refund for the shipping because it didn't cost me as much and I didn't want to make money off their shipping and uh, they committed me for it and then they're just a tiny little piece broke off the tail of this thing and they are just being so ridiculous about it um, they wanted another $40 partial refund for a piece that could easily be glued back on the end I would give them a refund but I already gave them $25 and I'm not giving them another $40 for a tiny piece that broke off the end. If I give them $40, then I'm losing $25 on this item, and I just can't do that. So I told them to ship it back, and we will see if they do that. Next is this racing suit. 
think I paid five dollars for this. Uh, and I ended up selling it for ninety. The person left a uh, passive aggressive positive feedback for the item. Uh, they said that they wish they had known that it was thirty years old. And it, I, I don't know, other than saying vintage in the title here and saying vintage in the description here, I don't know how I could have let them know that it was an old item. But it was a positive feedback anyway. So next was this 1970 Decotel landline phone. It's all plastic. It looks, it looks nicer than it actually is, but it is old. But all of this stuff is plastic. It's not brass, but it's pretty neat looking, regardless. And I sold it for sixty bucks plus twelve forty six. So they paid like seventy three dollars altogether. Next is this nineteen ninety nine Hasbro Animorphs. Tri-Rex. It's got three guys inside. It's it's almost a Transformer. It's an Animorphs. It's from the same people who made Transformers, but it's an Animorphs product. And I could not find this anywhere for a price comparison, so I could figure out what to what price to put on it. So I ended up throwing this up on eBay Community, and somebody helped me out. And that really works. So if you don't know... If you want more information about something and you've tried and tried and tried to research something, maybe as a last resort, throw it up on eBay community and somebody might know what it is. I've had a couple things that I throw them up there and two or three hours later, somebody gives me the exact answer I'm looking for and makes my life so much easier. But this sold for $33.99. Next is this Native American map of Indiana, uh, Indian influence, Native American influence in Indiana. So I had two of these and I've sold them both already. If you ever see maps and they're decent price, buy them because people like maps. I always do really good with maps. As you'll see, I think I sold another map in here too. But I, I'm sure I gave less than a dollar for this map, and I sold it for $24.99. Next are these incomplete Lego sets. There's three here. I, I had like 15 of these Lego sets. I found somebody on Craigslist, and they said they had all these incomplete Lego sets. They had them individually listed or listed in groups of two, and I was like, well, I'll just buy them all from you. And my original plan was to get on lego.com and find the pieces that they were missing and order those pieces and then i would have complete lego sets but that is a giant pain in the ass uh i don't know if you know but there's lots of colors and pieces that lego.com just does not have and you can't get so plus the task of going through each individual piece and making sure that each set has each individual piece. They sat around for like a month because I kept procrastinating doing it. And in the end, I just threw them up in lots like this. And I I think this is the second to last one. I have one more. But I ended up selling them in lots like this and I still doubled my money. This one sold for $28.49. Next, this is stuff I think I have to ship today. This sold recently. Uh, Kuji embroidered men's black collared polo shirt. This person had a booth at the flea market and they were selling all their clothes just ridiculous cheap. Everything I bought was like a dollar each. I, I paid a dollar fifty for this shirt, I think, and I sold it for twenty eight ninety nine free shipping. Next, we've got this Bruiser, Illinois, cardigan. I don't know if these were on Amazon or some website or something, 
somebody at the flea market has a whole bunch of them and i've seen them other places too this bruiser brand but they're really nice thick cardigans and sweatshirts and most of them are knit i think all the ones i bought were knit and this is the second one i've sold but i think i paid seven dollars for it and i sold it for 28.99 free shipping Next is this Daisy Glass Clear Lucite Resin. It's just wheat in resin in a cylinder. I didn't think I would ever sell it, but I sold it for $24.59. It was just in a... I bought a flat at an auction trying to get something else, and this was in there, and I ended up listing it and selling it. So. Next, we've got this vintage 1997 Aria black motorcycle helmet. Sold for $44.64. And another map, like I said. This one sold for $34.99. My brother had a bunch of posters that he was selling, and we have a metal door downstairs. And he was using these magnets and taking the pictures like this, and I copied them because it works the best. It's hard to get something rolled flat for a good picture. Next is this Giovannio Women's Derby church hat. I got a lot of hats for, I think I paid 20 bucks and there were seven hats. And this one sold for 40. I've had this forever. I thought this would be much quicker seller. It's a steadfast brand. Tattoo art. Hoodie. Sold it for $66.49. Next. I got this Unipack. When I bought these, they were on a rack at the auction, and I could have gotten as many as I wanted for five bucks each, and I only ended up grabbing two because I was on my way at the auction anyway, and I wish I would have taken the whole rack because they're pretty good sellers. Uh, I sold it for $23.75. Next is this women's... 1950 hat, fishnet. I've had a lot of interest in this. I'm surprised it took so long to sell. It took about a month to sell this month and a half. And I sold it for $33.24. Next is this military pilot flight jumpsuit. At the auction, there was a lot of military clothes, and I just wanted the auction to move on so i bid five dollars because nobody was bidding on these military clothes this jacket wasn't in it but nobody was bidding on them so i got this lot of military clothes for five bucks and i brought it home and it was worth like six hundred dollars one of the jackets was from world war ii and i sold it for 120 dollars and there were a couple complete dress uniforms so in the researching and figuring out how to find out the age of the clothes and stuff like that. I've gotten into selling these military clothes and I usually do pretty good. I paid, I think less than $6 for this jumpsuit. I sold it for $34.99. Next is this Rue. I bought this without doing much research. If I would have looked into it, I probably wouldn't have bought this because it just, the, the margin wasn't high enough on it. But I sold it for $15.99. Next are these Texas boots, men's. I don't know if this is real ostrich or ostrich, so I just put ostrich and ostrich embossed leather boots. And I sold those for $54.99. Free shipping. Next is this umbrella. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with umbrellas. This one had a pretty cool handle. That's what it looked like. But I haven't had a lot of luck with umbrellas. 
sold this one th for $39.59. And I think it cost me like $9 to ship. Next, Pronto U Uomo suit jacket. It's a big one. I wish I had a bigger mannequin to take a picture of it because yeah, it was a big suit. And I ended up selling that for $49.99. Next, we got this iridescent bottle. I don't know if this is showing when I accept the offers. I might have to look into this somehow because I think I accepted an offer on this item. I don't think I sold it for $29.99. I think I sold it for $25. Hmm. Well, I'll check into that for next time. Got this Calvin Klein vest. And I think I accepted an offer on this one of 30 bucks. It says $37.99 right there, but I'm pretty sure I accepted a $30 offer on that. Next, these uh, Arthur Sizyik. These are so super cool. Their title pages. And I had a lot of, I think I had 25 or something like that. I've been selling them in lots. This is the last one to go. And it sold for, I think I took an offer here of $25. All of these next three here. Yeah, there should be one more in there too. I don't know where it's at. These all sold to the same person. So I did give them a deal on a lot of these dolls. I think I sold them this one for 25 This Geppetto. And this Paradise Galleries. They paid the shipping. And I think I ended up selling them this one for 35 35 with plus shipping. And this one was 40 I think, plus shipping. Ah. So I have a 3D printer, and I print these Funko things. And uh, they sell pretty good for me. Um, but I sold one there. I have sold actually 26. It's like overall. Different colors, different sizes. I'm trying to find other things like that that will sell with the 3D printer. That's the whole reason I bought it was to sell like tabletop gaming stuff, but that stuff doesn't sell very well. I've sold like a couple treasure chests and barrels and stuff like that, but nothing too great. This is the other doll that was in the, the woman that bought dolls. And I think I ended up accepting a $20 offer on this because she had bought other stuff. I got this at Goodwill for $3. It's a Skylanders trap team. Ah. And then last but not least, got this patch here. If ever you see big patches like this, I tend to buy them if they're cheap enough. Sometimes you'll find like a bag. This came in a bag of patches that I got for like $3 or something like that. And I sold this one patch for, I think I accepted an offer of $18. So that's what I sold. Um, thanks for checking out the video. And let me know if there's anything I can do better. Thanks.